Hello, are you ready to paint with me? Today I'm going to do a fashionable piece. I'm, I'm into fashion right now. I don't know why. It's not even fashion week, but let's go. Let's get to it. Let's do a painting of a high heels. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to have one pair come down here and I'm just going to sketch it out. Don't be afraid to be out of your lines, but remember you're looking at angles. So I want this angle like that. And then this is gonna be, and you can change it. And I'm using a Sharpie pen. So it's easy to change anything because it is an alcohol-based dye pen. Kind of put this in here, it's gonna be open toe. So we're just gonna put a couple of straps on that. And we'll have this one come down this way. And then we'll put a little sole on it. You gotta have a little sole. <laughs> and then a little arch. And bring that side down and curve it out. Now I refine it a bit. I'll give it a nice point. And this is gonna come in a little bit more. And I don't care. See, I'll even move some of that smudge off into the edge. I'm gonna have background anyway. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to drawing again. And I wanna have another shoe come out this way. So I know that I want it to be approximately here at an angle. And it's gonna go underneath that heel and the toe will come out just a little bit more because it's sticking out and it's a V. Uh, what I did is I went to Goodwill <laughs> and uh, took some pictures of their shoes because I wanted something kind of retro. I thought that'd be pretty cool. So there's a little, and be, make it sketchy, it kind of looks cool. It's wider here, and then it gets a little more narrow as it goes back. That gives the illusion of depth, and we get a little hook on that. And then this will come up here, and actually comes down inside a little bit, because this wraps around. So that'll be red, this is gonna be red, this is gonna be, let's give this, a little more of a oomph. See how you can sketch it? It's really fun to do. And then I'm gonna move this down here. And this here strap kind of goes like this. See how I jump around? That's a good way to keep things really harmonious because you're bouncing around, you're making sure everything looks good. It comes in where it belongs. I'm gonna make this uh, come out a little bit further. And there's a hoop in here for the back of the shoe, for where the foot goes. And I'm gonna kind of bring it down like that. And you don't really see the end of the heel too much, just a little. And there you go. Just a little bit. Okay, fashionable shoe, there we go. How cute is this? this these make the cutest cards. Now I'll refine this a little bit more right in here and make my strap a little better. See how you sketch it? It looks like uh, like a designer sketch. Don't try to overthink it. Um, talking and sketching isn't an easy deal here. <laughs> okay, so that looks good. And this strap will come this way. And it'll meet up over here. So we get two straps, one this way, wider here, narrower there let's make this one a little wider so it makes sense actually bring it down all right so anyway there's my shoes i want to bring this down a little bit i could even use my brush to sketch so you could do anything the, the rule is you do anything you can think of that will make it look lovely put a little drop of alcohol one two three block see how much nicer that looks and I'm just gonna kind of come across. Now I can reinforce that design and I'm just gonna match it up. And it actually kind of curls around a little bit and comes down to this. And the, the shoe is like that. These make really beautiful cards. I make them for my girlfriends for their birthdays and such. Poppy field and just put it in. 
let it run. I don't care if it stays in the lines. I like it a little more like a watercolor for this type of a feel. It has that fashion look. See, I don't even care if it's in the lines. It doesn't matter. What matters is that the feeling of this particular painting. And I want the lines to show through, so don't be afraid about that. Give it a little trim. There's a little trim on these little straps. And um, put some back there. See how cute that is? What a cute card. Now you can write a sentiment on there and uh, your friends will love it. You can make these, bring them to a printer, and now you can sell cards. A little curve here. And all I'm doing is outlining basically the little lines I had. And this is lighter, so I'm just gonna do, there's less on the brush, so I'm gonna get a lighter look. It's darker right under here, so I'm gonna go give it a dark load of poppy field. I'm just using one color because this is just a fun painting. I just go over it again and again for darkness, that's all. And this needs a nice little straplet around. There we go. How beautiful is that? And again, see how it lightens up after time? Don't be afraid. You can go back and fix your lines as often as you want. And this is going to have a little red back there. And this heel is light and red back here. See, I don't want to put it everywhere. Maybe a little there. cute so I wonder whose birthday's next who's gonna get this <laughs> I know you're watching so we'll give a little darkness in there I do want to give the shape of the shoe so I mean I do want to get the darkness where it needs to be so I just go into a little bit more of the um, of the poppy field and just reload And that's all there is to doing some fashionable art. Just layers. Again, we're still doing our layers, right? That's what I always tell you. Layers, layers, layers. It need it doesn't look good. It needs a what? Another layer. And this is all red. This is a darker red back there. A little red in here. A little red right in here. And you can see how it builds. This isn't, like I say, a super um, detailed painting. I'm just blotting off my brush and just using a light so I can get the light feel from the inside of the turn on the shoe. And this is red in here. And this is red in here, but it's lighter at the tips. So I use start at the darkest area and I work my way out. If it gets too dark, I can just add a highlight. Okay, I just want to plant this on the floor. So I'm going to use a little, because the complement of the red is green, I'm going to use a little green into the red when I mix. And I'm using a little bottle because I want it dark. And I want a little shadow here. I might put more bottle into it because the red is the complement, so it's going to going down as it mixes so. so I'm just putting a little shadow so that the shoe sits on the table the floor and I want to make a thinner layer of the green so it's not as light it's a little lighter there because it's not touching see how that works okay that looks pretty nice I'm gonna lighten that and I'm gonna put a little bit of a shadow there and a little bit of a shadow here. Because it's green, it's the complement to the red and it helps your shoes pop. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little more light and I'm gonna go into a little uh, limeade in the foreground, but I'm gonna mix it with a little of that. With my dirty brush and the, um, some of that bottle color. So 
So because this is a warmer color, see how it's coming forward? Bottle has a lot of blue in it. Getting a little more bottle and I'm reinforcing that dark. That looks nice. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take that dirty brush and bring it back. I wanna to point to these shoes, so I'm gonna use a stroke that points to the shoe. I'm gonna use a little more bottle with the red. And I wanted sketchy, like as if a designer is designing their new pair of shoes that they're gonna sell. And I'm just using a dirty brush here. A little light right in front so it sits a little better. Look how cute. And you can also get a little darker with a mix up here. Put a little more green into it. Get it a little more yummy as it gets down to the shoe. Pointing to the shoes with my strokes. Even though I don't know what I'm gonna get, I, I still try to give the assumption I want you where I want you to look. I'm still designing the location where you're to look. And who knows where the back of the table is. I don't have to put all that information in. I'm just gonna scribble, just put a little darkness back there. And of course you can keep layering and making it darker. So anyway, uh, all you have to do if you're a calligrapher, which I'm not, but I'm gonna throw it in there anyway and just see how it looks. Okay, so this kind of comes, I'm gonna do it over, because this is heavy over here. So there you go, a little happy birthday card, a little hot up here. Anyway, I hope you give it a try. It certainly is easy. Just goof around, pull out those shoes and have some fun. Happy painting.